the Indonesian Air Force from 2021 to 2024 will gradually acquire modern defense equipment. Some of them are the multirole fighter F-15X, Dassault Rafale, radar GCI-4, airborne early warning capable aircraft, tanker aircraft namely multi-role tanker transport, C-130J transport aircraft, UCAV and various other defense equipment. This was conveyed by the Chief of Staff of the Indonesian Air Force, Marshal Fahar Prasetyo in his remarks at the 2021 Indonesian Air Force Leadership Meeting at the Indonesian Air Force Headquarters. In addition, he explained that the Indonesian Air Force would carry out the modernization of the fighter aircraft, which will begin this year and emphasized that the addition of this defense equipment was intended to significantly increase capabilities. It is our duty as Indonesian Air Force soldiers to ensure operational readiness of the Air Force, through fostering the ability of personnel and maintaining and maintaining defense equipment, so that it continues to be at the highest level," said Prasetyo. The plan to procure defense equipment had undergone several changes because it was adjusted to various global conditions and the capabilities of the Indonesian state. Even though we have guidelines for posture, Renstra, and MEF, their implementation is very dependent on various factors and conditions that keep changing dynamically," said Marshal Fahar Prasetyo, quoted from Anadolu Agency. All parties, from the Ministry of Defense to the Indonesian Air Force have discussed and studied in order to find breakthroughs and solutions. This is solely to facilitate Indonesia's steps in obtaining the best defense equipment that meets operational requirements, commonality aspects, obtaining transfer of technology, and in accordance with the state's capability and the condition of the Indonesian Air Force," said Prasetyo. In the documents of the 2021 Indonesian Air Force Leadership Meeting received by Anadoli Agency, Indonesia plans to buy 36 Rafale aircraft and 8 F-15X aircraft. The F-15X is expected to arrive as many as 6 by 2022. If Indonesia follows through on this purchase, Indonesia will be the first buyer of the new F-15 configuration outside of the U.S. Air Force, which has yet to receive its first fighter aircraft, Air Force Mag.com said. A Boeing spokesman could not confirm the planned purchase, but said we remain confident in the F-15X's suitability for Indonesia, given its unmatched range, payload and performance. He confirmed, however, that all future sales of the new F-15 will refer to the F-15X. Over the past 30 years, export F-15s have had special markers for the exporting country, namely F-15SE for Saudi Arabia, F-15QA for Qatar, F-15I for Israel, and so on. From now on, the designation is the F-15X across the board, the spokesman said. The procurement of defense equipment also contributes to defense diplomacy efforts with other countries of strategic value to the global political constellation. The most important essence of adding defense equipment is not increasing the number of platforms. However, what is far more essential is to significantly increase the capability that can be utilized in maintaining the country's sovereignty in the air, said Prasetyo. Indonesia has a fleet of around 72 combat aircraft, including 33 F-16s, 5 Su-27s, 11 Su-30s, and 23 Hawk 200s. All of the planes date from the 1990s or earlier, but 10 of the oldest F-16s have been updated.